good morning and welcome back today we will study the common poisons like hydroacetate fluoride and arsenide that inhibits the process of glycolysis first is hydroacetate or hydroacetamide this enzyme irreversibly binds with the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase of glycolysis the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase convert the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate into 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate but this enzyme hydroacetate binds with the sh group of this enzyme and inhibit the enzyme permanently therefore the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is not converted and it get accumulated the second poison is fluoride fluoride inhibits the enzyme enolase enolase convert the 2 phosphoglycerate into phosphoenol pyruvate now this fluoride binds with the enzyme enolase and inhibit the enzyme when this enzyme enolase is inhibited the complete glycolytic pathway stops now this property of this fluoride is used to stop the glycolysis in vitro why we want to stop glycolysis if we collect a blood for blood glucose estimation and if we keep the blood for a while outside the body then the rbgs present in the blood start utilizing the glucose present in the blood and slowly the blood glucose level decreases if we measure the blood glucose level after some time we will get false low values of blood glucose to prevent this we are using a sodium fluoride in a test tube in which we are collecting the blood so the sodium fluoride mixes with the blood enters inside the rbcs and block the pathway by inhibiting the enolase therefore rbcs will not able to utilize the glucose present in the blood and we will get the correct glucose measurement the third poison is arsenide this arsenide acts at the enzyme where glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase acts glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase convert the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate into 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate here one inorganic phosphate from the surrounding is added on the right side i have shown when arsenide is present in the medium then that arsenide competes with inorganic phosphate to bind with the substrate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and it gets succeed to bind with the substrate and form one arsino 3 phosphoglycerate compound that compound later on broken down into 3 phosphoglycerate and heat is release so the patient having arsenide poison suffers from hyperthermia that is the patient the temperature of the body increases so this is about arsenide it competes with inorganic phosphate in the reaction to bind with the substrate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to form one arsino 3 phosphoglycerate which hydrolyzes spontaneously to give 3 phosphoglycerate and heat here atp is not generated 
in the normal glycolysis atp is synthesized but here instead of atp the energy is released in the form of heat which gives rise to increase body temperature in such patients so this is about the poisons inhibiting the various enzymes of glycolysis